What is going on guys? Welcome back to Shadowwood. First thing I'd like to do is introduce you to the newest member of the inventory item family, the feather. Now, what does this feather do? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Starting at this point, you're going to be seeing me add things to the game, and I'm not going to be fully explaining everything that I put in there. A big part of this game is experimentation, so I'm not going to give away all the fun little secrets. You guys will have to discover them on your own. Anyway, I should also take a moment to remind those of you who missed last week that the first test build is available for download. Follow the Twitter link in the description and hit me up with any feedback you have. This evening, I'm going to be working on some mushrooms in Magic Voxel. Tuesday night now. Yesterday evening ended up being pretty damn productive. In addition to getting the mushrooms in the game, I also made some adjustments to the inventory. You can see here I've added a meter for items that have a degenerative property. Previously it simply displayed the percentage, but I think this is a better way to let the player know how much longer the item will last. Additionally, I've laid most of the groundwork for the ability to up the number of inventory slots you can have. I'm going to work on a backpack, this was suggested by a viewer, that will allow more inventory slots. It's Thursday night now, and I've made some progress with the backpack. You can see here, if you pick up the backpack, it attaches to your back. And it also adds four new inventory slots. Removing the backpack removes those slots. But I've still got some work to do on it. Though the slots display, you currently can't actually move the cursor down to get at the new slots. And there's something funky going on with the inventory when you drop the backpack. It seems to be shuffling around items and not properly removing the backpack but I'm gonna have to get back to this tomorrow. It's Saturday morning and it's nicer outside than it's been in a long time. A little taste of spring today. I'm making progress on the backpack, though it is taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. Part of the problem is the free time I've had to work on the game this week has been a bit sporadic. I fixed the issue where when you dropped the backpack your inventory was getting shuffled around and the backpack was still showing up in it. I've also got the cursor now free to move over the added inventory slots when you add a backpack. Part of what slowed me down was that there was a bug with the cursor that only showed up when you added inventory slots. This had to do with the row and column counts being mixed up in the code, which when you have a 4 slot 2x2 two two inventory doesn't matter, but when you expand it 2x4 it does. Anyway, the main thing I need to work on still is making sure that the backpack retains the contents you put into it when you take it off, and that when you pick it back up, those items that are in the backpack get added to your inventory.
Okay, that went about as smooth as I could hope for. Um, so now if you have a backpack and you pick up an item and put it in your backpack, you see there it shows up. And if I go and I drop my backpack, I lose my item because it's in the backpack. And now if I pick the backpack back up, the item comes back. So uh, the other thing I had to do is, so if you have an item that is in your backpack equipped, so here I've now I've got the fern equipped in my hand and I drop the backpack, um, the fern disappears out of my hand so it gets unequipped because it's technically in the backpack and so it goes with the backpack. Um, another thing you might notice that I changed is the actual display here for the inventory, this purple uh, s square that surrounds it. When you get the backpack it now updates to fit all of the inventory slots before it was just staying the same size. So you had these slots that were outside. The only thing that really needs to be done at this point is to make it so that you can move items around in your inventory. Right now you have to actually drop drop an item out of your inventory and then pick it back up and put it where you want. So that's something that will have to be changed, but I'm going to save that for a later date. I'm actually going to close out this week's devlog here. I'm going to start working on setting up the lobby for the online multiplayer next, and I think it's better to just finish off the video here. I've done some thinking, and I'm going to hold off on a devlog for next week as well. As I said, I'm going to start working on the online stuff, and I'm also going to plan out some bigger picture stuff next week, so I don't think I'm going to have a whole lot to show off. But please do like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter with the link in the description. Thanks guys, we will see you in two weeks.